What's this? You folks need to turn around. Pretty bad accident up ahead. Anything we can do? Your doctor or something? Or something. Nice doll. That's what you think. Did it work? The evil is contained. Like, during the, it starts like, like the film starts off like people going into the forbidden room and you shouldn't have gone in. Yeah. So like, is there, any, is there anything in, like in life that you know you should have done and you did it anyway and ended out terribly for you? Um, <laughs> so many things, so many regrets in life. Uh, I mean, oh God, I don't know. Um, I, I would say I shouldn't have done this, but I did it, and it ended up being great, but I lit an intention candle the night that I, uh, before I found out that I booked this, and you basically write down your intention on a candle, what you want, it's like a success candle, and I wrote something like, I hope I book Annabelle, and um, the candle, <laughs> the rim of the candle, because you light the paper, it lit on fire, and it was dancing, there were, my friends had two candles as well, theirs were fine, mine was weird, and so at that moment I was like, Oh, some spirit is coming after me because like the flames are just dancing and the wick kept going out. It was so weird, but it ended up being a good sign. It meant I got what I was asking for already. So, yeah, but um, worked out. But don't go in creepy rooms and touch things that you're not supposed to do. So like during the set, or when you shoot like movies and stuff, there's like something spooky that happened during the set and everything. Was there anything like spooky or crazy that happened during when you were shooting this film? Um, there was this one scene where we were rehearsing, um, we were rehearsing a, a scene where we're running out of the artifact room and, um, there's a cross next to the door and when we shut the door, the Jesus, just the Jesus of the cross, flew across the room. The cross remained on the thing. We all stopped and paused for a while because it was super weird, you know, he's like nailed to the literally to the cross and uh so that was so weird i said they were trying to play trick uh, do a trick on you guys or no no oh, okay. everyone was absolutely in complete shock and then we there were times where we would see annabelle kind of in different places around swear i don't know if, i don't know if someone was doing it but she would show up there was one day where she was like in different areas so that was super terrifying. i think more than anything the thing that'll stand out is there's a lot of comedy in our movie i think everyone's gonna laugh a lot more than they're expecting um which i think is really fun it was one things I was most excited about so so sometimes when you shoot like a scary movie there's like spooky things that happen during the set was there anything that like was like crazy or spooky during the set I mean there were there were like a handful of things the number one thing that terrified me was in my dressing room sometimes my lights just wouldn't turn on and I literally I like I'd press it like on off on off on off turn around and walk away and then they just come on oh. I'm like all right like I'm, I did not sign up for this um, <laughs> and like when we would shoot in the artifact room sometimes uh, they'd always have to have the cameras hardwired because the wireless signals wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the artifact room, you're like, okay. Um, there are a couple things that are a little creepy. I'd read my lines at night sometimes and just couldn't sleep. So, yeah. uh, so like the movie seems like it starts off with, like with you guys like going to the forbidden room, even though you guys shouldn't have. Has there any been like in life that you shouldn't have done and you did it anyway and ended out terribly? Um, my whole high school experience. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, there's always things, you know. I can't think of anything at the top of my head, but I was not the best kid in high school. I was kind of a troublemaker. <laughs> I, sorry, Mom. I mean, she knows these things, so um, I won't name anything, though. <laughs> what was your favorite part on set? Like, um, I think more than anything, just just like hanging with the cast. It was such a fun group of girls. Um, you know, we would do silly stuff. like. We'd have to like work on our scream, so we'd like sit in a room and just scream at each other and like help each other out. It's something you don't think about doing, but you have to. So it seems like the movie starts off because somebody went to a forbidden room and they shouldn't have. Has there been like any situation like that you should have done something and ended up terrible for you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's an interesting question. I don't know if I want to answer. No, I'm kidding. I I generally don't do things that I'm warned against. <laughs> I, from watching so many horror movies, I mean, it's not a good idea. <laughs> so like, sometimes when you shoot scary movies, there's like spooky things or crazy things that happen during the set. Is there anything like happened during this movie? Like Lots of things. Um, trying to think of 
one to tell you because there was lots of things that went on. Well, one time I was whenever Madison, Katie, and I were first all together, um, and we had officially been casted. We were all together on the set for the first time, running scenes and stuff. And all of a sudden, the lights went off, and we were like, um, "Annabelle, are you here?" That's what that's what we started saying. And then all of a sudden, the lights they got turned back on, and but my nose was bleeding really bad. And we we're like, "Whoa!" And then I had to leave to go and get tissues and stuff. So as soon as I stepped outside of the stage, it just stopped. And that really freaked me out because that was like the first day. So I was like, I can tell this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so, what was like your favorite part of shooting on the set? Everything. I'm such a big fan of The Conjuring and the Annabelle universe. Just everything about it. Was, was there like so a moment that like made you like become a fan of the series? Well, my dad and I, it's a special thing. It's a tradition. Like most weekends, we'll watch horror movies together and. It was just really special to get to work on one of these films that my dad and I love so much. How could you not tell me you're babysitting for the Warrens tonight? Mwah. And we'll be back early tomorrow morning. Have fun. Don't your parents keep any creepy stuff around? You keep it all locked away in a room. It's not good for anyone to go in there. My dad says that everything in there is either haunted, cursed, or used in some ritualistic practice. What's that? The fairy man. They put coins all over the eyes of the dead so he could take their souls. What about the doll that's in there? Annabelle? She's in a case for a reason. It's the beacon for other spirits. Mrs. Warren? Mom? Is everything okay? Something is happening inside your house and we're not really sure what to do. Can I speak to Annabelle? I'm sorry? You need to give her a soul, dear. She wants us. <laughs>